July 16, 1945. Nuclear scientists working for the Manhattan Project successfully detonated the plutonium-based device in the remote New Mexico desert. The world had entered the atomic age and there was no going back. This is World War II and II. In the 1930s, scientists discovered the possibility of atomic fission, which split the atom, creating a powerful explosive force. After the German invasion of Poland in 1939, Albert Einstein penned a letter to President Franklin Roosevelt warning of the danger if that technology fell into Nazi hands. FDR heeding the warning, and by June 1942, he approved a U.S. Army program to develop an atomic weapon. Initially set up office space in Broadway in New York City, the effort was soon referred to as the Manhattan Project. The Manhattan Project was a nationwide effort by labs and universities to develop fissionable materials and the means to produce an atomic bomb. Los Alamos Scientific Lab in New Mexico was a central location for scientific research and was led by scientist J. Robert Oppenheimer and Army Brigadier General Leslie Groves. To create isotopes with uranium-235 and plutonium-239, facilities were built at Hanford Engineering Works in Washington State and Clinton Engineering Works in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Thousands of people worked on the Manhattan Project, but information was compartmentalized and a top secret classification meant only a few select people understood the project's goal. A uranium-based bomb was thought to be a reliable design, but a major challenge was finding enough uranium-235. Plutonium, on the other hand, was easier to produce than uranium, but a plutonium-based device was more complex. A bomb using plutonium-239 could only go supercritical if compressed from all directions uniformly. Because this method was so unprecedented, Oppenheimer felt it was necessary to test it. In July 1945, the gadget was detonated at Jornet del Muerto, 35 miles south of Socorro, New Mexico, validating the plutonium-based compression design. The flash seen in this archival footage was so bright it temporarily blinded the observers and the heat melted the desert sand into a radioactive green glass called trinitite. After witnessing the test, Oppenheimer famously quoted, now I have become death, the destroyer of worlds. The successful Trinity test confirmed that the United States had two viable weapon designs and could easily produce several such devices. Days later, at the Potsdam Conference, President Truman called for Japan to surrender or face prompt and utter destruction. 